Hello everyone and welcome to CK Med. My name is Clark and I'll be taking you through Cranial Nerve 10, Vegas today. So here we are uh, again with this University of Utah uh, medical program uh, library resource for cranial nerves. Uh, the link for this resource is down below uh, in the video uh, comments or, or description as well as on our Facebook page. So definitely you'll have access to this. If not, just Google uh, cranial nerve tutorial, CN underscore tutorial, and you'll find that. Uh, this is an amazing resource to help understand the cranial nerves. So here we are with Vegas, and we remember that cranial nerve uh, 9, 10, and 11 travel and exit the skull via the jugular foramen. So we have our vagus uh, that does tons and tons of different things. It does general sensory, special, or it doesn't do special sensory. It does general sensory, parasympathetics. It does sensory for barometric pressure, does motor, and all sorts of things. Um, but as far as for head and neck, uh, the most important portion that, that this does is innervating uh, aspects of your pharynx and larynx. So uh, your, your, uh, or your general sensory fibers are going to come down and travel uh, via the pharyngeal nerve and superior laryngeal nerve, uh, which is a branch, uh, branch off of the vagus. So superior laryngeal is one of the important ones. So uh, superior laryngeal comes off and gives off a bran two branches, one that's motor and one that's uh, slight motor with, uh, with general sensory. So this internal laryngeal does sensory above the vocal cords. So internal laryngeal is off of superior laryngeal, which is off of vagus. External laryngeal is a branch off of superior laryngeal, which is off a branch off of vagus. So definitely organize that. Maybe just write it down right now so you don't get that confused. Internal laryngeal. So internal laryngeal, general sensory above vocal cords, and also does a little bit of the larynx muscles uh, above the vocal cords. External laryngeal uh, really works on the, the middle, the inferior, as uh, uh, pharyngeal constrictors, and one uh, cricothyroid muscle or cricothyroidus muscle. And so that's going to be what the external laryngeal motor branch does, and it stays outside. Internal laryngeal travels in, it's found in the piriform recess, so if someone swallows a chicken bone or some sort of other fish bone or some bone. They just love bones for some reason. Uh, whenever these bones come down and they get stuck in piriform recess, and you go to take it out, you have to be careful so you don't damage internal laryngeal. Why? Uh, because then you're going to lose sensory above the vocal cords. That's pretty much all they're looking for for that guy. Uh, super high yield, free point on the test pretty much. Then you have um, your parasympathetic. So parasympathetics from Vegas don't really do anything other than that they innervate uh, glands and smooth muscle uh, of your pharynx um, and, and the neck. Everything else for parasympathetics that Vegas does really goes down to your, your gut uh, and your, so your small intestines, your large intestines, as well as your heart and, and your bronchial tree as far as parasympathetics do. But we're not going to go into that. That's uh, for all your abdomen and thorax. Uh, videos that I have posted. But uh, one lastly important structure uh, that comes off of vagus is known as your recurrent laryngeal nerve. So as, uh, as we described before, we gave off our superior laryngeal nerve, which went all the way up into here and did all those things, the external pharyngeal uh, constrictors, as well as your cricothyroidus, as well as sensory inside above the vocal cords. What about inside uh, below the vocal cords, what happens there? And what happens when we have those muscles that are important for phonation or changing the tone of your voice? So uh, this is very important uh, because uh, this is all controlled via your recurrent branch of the, of the vagus. So remember, your left one goes under the arch of the aorta and your right one under your right subclavian. So uh, these, both of these uh, recurrent laryngeal nerves come back up and innervate uh, the internal uh, inside of your larynx. So it controls all your arachnoid muscles uh, and all your internal uh, laryngeal muscles that control phonation. 
and uh, allow for opening and closing of those vocal cords. It also does sensory from inside below the vocal cords. I know it's not drawn here. I, I wish they added that in there. But it also does sensory below the vocal cords, and that's your recurring branch. So all this is vagus um, and definitely important for that. Last thing, uh, this also helps in uh, the, the sensory for um, the mucosa of the larynx. So uh, anything that has to do with choking or something that causes you to cough, that's going to be that sensory from either your internal laryngeal above vocal cords or recurrent below, leading to a cough reflex. And uh, so that uh, is a reflex that is uh, both afferent and efferent via vagus. And that's uh, one exception with that. And then one last piece is this one exception, super weird, um, but we have this one or uh, uh, one muscle that controls, or uh, that one muscle that is innervated by your vagus for the tongue, and that's going to be your palatoglossus. So all the other tongue muscles uh, are done by your hypoglossal nerve, except for palatoglossus. And then a few other muscles, your levator veli palatina. So levator has a V in it for vagus, levator, where tensor was T for trigeminal. Levator lifts up that tensed palate, that trigeminal help tense. And then you have, uh, you have your muscle for your uvula. So if you have damage to your vagus on one side, your uvula will deviate to the opposite side. And then you have your palatopharyngeus, which is just a, a muscle that is on the back side, um, coming from your palate down to your pharynx, uh, just helps to elevate it during swallowing. And that is pretty much it for vagus in head and neck. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, definitely subscribe to our videos. Check out all our other ones to help you uh, with uh, head and neck and cranial nerves. And uh, hope to... Uh, hear from you soon. If you have any questions, check out our Facebook page, post or send me a, a message there and I'll be happy to, to answer those as quickly as I can. And uh, happy studying and uh, don't give up. It takes quite a bit of time to get down all these names. We definitely keep watching these videos as it will become more secondhand in nature once you we start understanding all these little details and drawing them out.